Aries, this is your week ahead astrology and tarot forecast. This is for Aries energy. So Aries sun, moon, rising sign, or if you're called to this reading and you're not an Aries, doesn't matter. What matters is this is your message because there could be Aries placements triggered in your natal chart right now. And that's why you need to hear the message. So this message reaches you at just the right time. It is for you, even if the labels seem incorrect. And this is where your message begins. Wow. This is surety. This is certainty. This is connectivity with the long-term stability. It means things are stabilizing for you, Aries. It means things are starting to feel like the ground that has been shaky and rocky and crazy is actually starting to solidify. And I love this for you because when you're on solid ground, you can race 5,000 miles a minute. It's not about energy. You don't lack energy and you don't lack direction. What the problem was, was the ground was like all this and you had to keep redirecting and you're like getting hit by rocks and it like, and ultimately what this is saying is things are simmering down. They are, they are becoming solid so that you can just be you again. You know, you're getting yourself back because your environment is stabilizing and we can't always Okay, we can never control our environment in terms of what's happening to us, but we can control our reactions and you've been doing your best. And I got to tell you, you've been you you've been more warriors now than I think you ever have uh, it, it, ever since I've been doing these videos for the past five years. You've been more warriors over the past five years. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, over the past year, simply because you've been fighting a fight that you could not have predicted you could not have controlled and that's really when you need to be brave right you you can only be brave you can only be brave when you're afraid and i think that you have really faced a lot of fear and mars being in cancer right now is a super scary place there's a lot of vulnerabilities because you can't fight the way you normally fight what you have to realize is that's an internal fight. That's a fight of, I've got to find my courage. It's not about what I do to others. It's about how I feel about myself. And if you can find your stability in that watery haven, then you can, you'll have your stability wherever you go moving forward. And moving forward is into Leo where, you know, Mars isn't going to be in Leo for a while, but, but you'll feel much more comfortable. But if you can find but this is as a metaphor for what you've been going through. If you can find your stability on unstable ground, then you will never lose that balance. Not ever, ever. And when you reach stable ground again, you're going to be on, you're going to be like amped up because it's like, it's like you a thousand times over because the stability that you gained during instability, you don't lose and you just carry that as talent and skill and proficiency and efficiency and productivity into where you're headed, which is what this card is suggesting. The abundant universe will provide. 10 is here. There is some resources coming in that are stabilizing you. Maybe it's not resources. Maybe it's just stability itself, like I was talking about, so that you can become stable and stabilize again. Feel that ground. Feel that earth underneath your feet. Feel that assuredness. This is abundance. This is prosperity. This is also confidence in your environment again. So stability is returning. And I got to tell you, it's going to feel like riches if it's not actually riches itself. It's going to feel like it because just stability itself is everything that you need to be able to start moving forward. So Aries, um, I'm going to divide the deck. And as I divide the deck, there are going to be cards that fall out. I'm going to leave them where they lay because they're part of the message. Please note that if you need a personal reading, I do provide those. I have many different services. Go check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and you can book and schedule whatever service works for you. There is definitely availability for next week. I'm not sure it's available for this week anymore, but that's okay. And I will get you your messages within 24 hours or shorter of whenever you booked 
your service. That's guaranteed because I know you guys need your messages. Okay, Aries, here we go. After I finish dividing the deck, I'm going to ring a sound bowl so that I can cleanse the energy. Some of you have expressed that you don't like the sound, so you can just turn down the volume a little bit. It just kind of clears my mind so that I can focus and it clears the energy that I'm channeling so that I can give you as clear a message as possible, which is what I want to give you. If you have just found this channel, thank you. Welcome. My name is Michelle. And please do go ahead and subscribe and then ring that notification bell. Make sure the notifications are turned on. People haven't been getting notifications from my channel from YouTube lately. Just an FYI. Okay, Aries, here we go. Let's shuffle one more time. Okay. In the past, watch and wait. Yeah, you had to wait. You had to wait for information to come in. Um, in other words, in the not so distant past, there has been a period of time where you really were waiting on everything and, and that fit made you feel not in control at all. Um, also, though, because this is Piscean energy, it could have meant that this is where you were being taught wisdom. It's where you were being taught patience. Even the warrior needs to understand that you don't pounce all the time. Sometimes the way you win the war is guerrilla warfare. Sometimes the way you win the war is ambush predator. You know, you have to wait for just the right moment. And so what you went through in the past was teaching you to the power of patience, the strategy behind patience, and the understanding that until things are clear, you have to watch and wait for the clarity and for the information and the intel and the understanding. This could also mean that you were waiting for something to happen. You were patiently waiting. You needed the intel. You needed the information. And now it's saying it has become tangible. You're going to receive it. Whatever you were waiting for is coming into your actual physical existence, into your hands. You can touch it, measure it, and quantify it, whatever this was that you were waiting for patiently. You knew it was coming. And it could even be just comprehension and um information but that's that's valuable too it will be there so you can actually function with it and interact with it that's good news then we have trust in divine detours coming out this week because at once it's like hit the ground running right once you get what you needed it will shift things. It might shift your perspective. It's certainly going to shift your capabilities. Since this is coming out as probably actual resources, it's going to shift maybe your focus. Also, is it shifting yourself? Is it shifting your integrity? Don't become shifty just because now you've got what you wanted. And I don't think you're going to. I think you're finally going to be able to make the moves that you wanted to move or you're finally going to be able to or you're going to be open to new things once this old stuff has been completed and gotten done. You'll just have more room to move around. We have Bobcat, life is a mystery, so something is masked in the future. We can't see it completely clearly, but it's also this sense of you're going to surprise yourself. You're going to surprise yourself. Uh, we're going to get to see maybe what this unknown is. Bring your ideas to life. Something new is about to start, and then sweet results await. That's Leo energy, which is following your heart. And so there's a surprise opportunity that's coming into your life. You didn't ask for it. You didn't expect it. Maybe it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time. And then you kind of like gave up on it, lost track of it. 
whatever it is, it's becoming tangible in your life, but to the point where it's going to throw you for a loop a little bit because you forgot that you asked, you forgot that you made those plans, you forgot that you sent in that application, yeah, maybe you forgot this person's name, whatever it is, you, for, you had forgotten because you had other shit to deal with. It wasn't because... Yeah, it lost it lost prominence in your life. It lost priority in your life. That's why you forgot, right? And so ultimately what this is saying is it's going to surprise you, right? But 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 you're ready for it. You're ready for it now and you're going to be ready to hook a left or a right or whatever direction you need to turn because honestly, you're ready for it. Now, let's see what it is. First life is a mystery, Bobcat. What is this? It's eight, so it's it's blessings, it's it's um it's abundance. But what is it? It could be just the new start of something that you've worked really hard on or worked really hard for. Because yeah, because the bee is busy bee gets the honey. So the bee represents you did work for it. But it's all it's like all of a sudden the hard work pays off or something comes through. It could be about a house, could be about a building, could be about a group that you belong to or finding a job that you really care about. Something that offers stability, but also that you're, that passion, like finding similar passions, finding value here, being excited to be in a specific place with a specific group of people. Let's see how this week resolves. Let's see how this week resolves because I like to take a peek at the end of the book before I've read the beginning. How does this week resolve? Give us this resolution on day seven for this week ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. 100%. Okay. I love this. This, this is a huge breakthrough. It's a huge breakthrough, uh, of, of, but a certainty now being assured, being certain. You ready? How about day one? Uh, we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is um, something is hurt so bad, like the pain is over with, the pain is done. Something is completely done and finished, accepting that there is no breath in this anymore. And day one is that sense of the pain has gotten too, it's too much. It's too, it's done. But guess what? You're claiming your independence from all the fucking backstabbing, all the suffering, all the heartache. You're just, you're claiming your independence from it. You're standing strong in and of your own right. There's resources here. It's, it's coming right out. Maybe somebody has passed. Maybe this could be inheritance, of course. Um, in specific cases, but this is a sort of inheritance for all of you that after you've been through a really hard time, you're on the other side now and there is just value that has come from it, especially you feeling stronger in who you are and your capabilities, rising from those ashes, learning how to deal with the toxicity. Um, this is a power. Mars is in opposition to Pluto right now. So there's a huge weight and gravity and self-assuredness in, in what you are and who you are. Um, it's, it's Aries 2.0. That's kind of, that's kind of what this energy is, but it really is rising from the ashes of a heartache or an ending that caused you a lot of pain and suffering. Um, maybe feeling for the first time in a long time, solid and sure and good about yourself and your situation since it happened. Um, okay, let's see what comes next. Day two. We're going to come into dealing with a lot of complications and ridiculousness, um, dealing with a lot of conflict, dealing with a lot of haterade or a lot of red tape, of course. This is going to be, I'm telling you, after you've been through this, this looks like stepping on twigs. And because that's really what this is, this only looks big. The five of wands only the troubles that the five of wands represents. They only look big because they come at you all at once. Individually, they're a bunch of fucking twigs. And I feel I think that after you've gone through after you've gone through the ten of swords, the five of of wands is like stepping on a bunch of twigs. And so you're already seeing your strength. You're already seeing what you're capable of now that you've been through the worst, right? And then we have the Ten of 
pentacles. So maybe there was a, I don't know if this is about selling a house or a big ticket item that you were trying to buy. There's been a lot of shit. There's been a lot of craziness. There's been a lot of red tape. There's been a lot of paperwork. It's the value is coming out on the other side. Things are finally like completed and done. Maybe you've been waiting for about five months for this, but it's like, now you get the answer. Now you get the, the payment. Now you get the productivity, whatever it is. Now you, now you get something solid or, or something stabilizing. That's day two. It actually coming into you. Day three, we have six of wands. So maybe you could share it with other people. Maybe there's public recognition, just feeling good about the circumstance, um, feeling solid, feeling, it's almost like feeling like the weight has lifted off your chest and feeling like it's safe to celebrate. And it kind of is safe to celebrate because there's independence here. There's creative freedom, right? Feeling free, feeling like maybe just feeling like I finally won this. Like even though the news is going to come in the day before, it's like I finally won this. I'm feeling confident in where you are at the moment. Um, actually also being seen and recognized. So that could be opportunity opening up or you not you opening up your own opportunity debuting something coming out about something because honestly you know that nothing can hurt you now and that's the kind of truth that you're in Aries oh there you are finding yourself claiming your independence the emperor is here feeling your power feeling your vitality um um after you've been abandoned and feeling alone it's almost like you found a way to rescue yourself from everything that you were drowning in. Um, um, whatever made you feel isolated, um, whatever made you feel maybe taken advantage of or left behind or like, like everything was just coming down at you at once. This could even be mental disorders. It's like you getting a grapple on, you fighting, you knowing what to fight, you knowing the enemy to fight now. Um, being able to move on, being able to claim, reclaim your power after feeling powerless. And what a wonderful lesson for an Aries to learn. How does it feel to be the prisoner of war? How does it feel to have lost? How do I come back from this loss? You're going to come back stronger. And I think that that's really what day four, it's, it's more esoteric. It's more um, what has this really done to me as a person, as who I am? And honestly, it's making you a level of strong that you haven't had before because now compassion and humility is part of your strength. And it's a strength that I don't think you've, you've understood before. But you're, you're coming out of this um, better. What about five? Five, we have your magic is turned on, your talents and skills are on full display, having the resource and figuring out what to do with those resources. And then we have rest and relaxation, taking a break. It's almost like I feel secure in what I can do and my capabilities. I feel secure in my ability to handle the situation at hand. And it's saying now you're able to tie up loose ends, things that made you feel uncomfortable in the past. You're able to rectify them. You're able to reconcile them. You're able to face them, confront them, solve them and put them in the past. You're able to handle them now. Something that has been looming over your head. You're able to handle now. And then what about six? We got to get to seven, which looks really beautiful. Six is aspirations, the star card, aiming high, shooting for the stars, almost like realizing that the way is clear for me now. And I'm, I'm able to go into this new th stage of my life. I'm able to walk. It, you, it's like you're able to have hope again. You're able to have faith again. You're able to be back to the newness and the trust in the future that you had and also being presented perhaps with a dream or a wish come true that you're now capable of seeing and diving into. Let's get a moon card because Aries, this is your full moon today. I'm doing, this is it. It's October 17th. Enjoy that full moon. Uh, 
the heavens just want you to know that there's a lot of toxicity for you to release. This cycle is going to be over in your life and that there is luck on your side. Shoot your shot for the future. This is Sagittarius energy that whatever this new beginning is, is bringing in a uh, immeasurable, immeasurable amount of blessings and happiness that you are going to actually be able to fully appreciate. Let's go to the extended. I want to read these angel messages and continue on where you are headed, where these blessings are opening up for you, as well as your future. I love you guys so much. Link is in the description box. You really support the channel by helping me out by purchasing these extended readings. The link is also attached. Uh, I pin it to the top of the comment section. And I'm so grateful for you in every way. I'll see you guys there.